Now it is time for perhaps the most divisive 007 debate of them all. After the first Bond movie, Dr. No, premiered exactly 50 years ago today, another 22 Bond films followed. But out of all of the Bond movies, which are the best? Well, Showbiz Tonight has watched, analyzed, and debated over all of James Bond's big screen adventures. And now we are counting down the top five. And what we picked as number one is sure to cause some controversy. Bond. James Bond. For 50 years, we've watched James Bond defeat more villains. Your time's running out, Stromberg. Rock more tuxes. I think my mouth is too big. No, it's the right size. For me, that is. And hook up with more women than we can count. But Showbiz Tonight can count down the top five greatest James Bond movies. Yes, that would be splendid. Number five on the Showbiz Countdown is 1977's The Spy Who Loved Me. Can you swim? It included that cool amphibious car and a bad guy with a cool ocean fortress. Within minutes, New York and Moscow will cease to exist. I think The Spy Who Loved Me is one of the better Roger Moore Bond movies. Number four on Showbiz Tonight's countdown of the top five Bond movies, 1969's On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Who is it? Bond. A lot of Bond fans actually have a soft spot for On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Yes, this movie tends to get a bad rap because it stars the only one-time James Bond, George Lazenby. This never happened to the other fella. George Lazenby is kind of the Brandon Ruth of James Bond. He's always going to be that guy who was Superman once. George Adams will always be that guy who was James Bond once. But with its intense, no-nonsense action and a shockingly tragic ending that still packs a punch. There's no hurry, you see. We have all the time in the world. On Her Majesty's Secret Service is now widely known as perhaps the most underrated of all James Bond movies. On Her Majesty's Secret Service ages really well, and it actually still holds up. Number three on our Showbiz Tonight countdown of the top five greatest Bond movies, 1963's From Russia With Love. And Mr. Bond here. From Russia With Love is more of a hardcore James Bond. My orders are to kill you and deliver the lecture. It's still just a lot of good punching and driving and loving. You're one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen. Speaking of loving, From Russia With Love gets points for a completely modern plot twist. Bond gets threatened with the release of a secretly made film of him um, bonding with a beautiful woman. Today, threatening to release a James Bond sex tape wouldn't be like a blackmail plot. It would be just something that would get him a reality show. Number two in our countdown of the five greatest Bond movies, 1964's Goldfinger. Choose your next witticism carefully, Mr. Bond. It may be your last. Goldfinger had some of the most iconic images in Bond history. There's Bond versus the laser. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. The gold-plated girl. I hope he kept the, the gold body because that's only going to go up in value. And the girl with the very memorable name. My name is Pussy Galore. Plus, an amazing theme song. Gold finger. Which I secretly sing to myself in the shower all the time. Gold finger. Which all brings us to Showbiz Tonight's choice for the number one Bond film ever. And a word of warning. It's an unconventional choice. Yes. Considerably. Yes, we're calling 2006's Casino Royale the greatest Bond film of all time. You're joking. Easy, Sir Connery. Hear us out. This is gritty, it's dark, it's smart. Tell him I've hidden the bodies down here. Casino Royale remains the top grossing Bond film ever, and as a first time Bond, Daniel Craig kills it. Daniel Craig manages to bring a real humanity to Bond. Whatever is left of me, I'm yours. What really sets this one apart? The super hot and super tragic love story between Daniel Craig's Bond and Eva Green as the doomed Vesper Lynn. So as charming as you are, Mr. Bond, I will be keeping my eye on our government's money and off your perfectly formed hearts. You noticed. Even accountants have imagination. They had this amazing way of talking that made it feel like it was foreplay, and that energy hadn't been captured in a Bond film in a long time. That's the best part about James Bond movies. For 50 years now, there's always been another one around the corner. Kind of a bold choice, I know. So did we get our countdown of the top five Bond movies right? Weigh in on our Ship It Tonight Facebook page. Also, if you want to do your own James Bond movie countdown, well, you're in luck because all 22 James Bond movies are now available in a special new 50th anniversary Blu-ray DVD collection.